G'day guys, it's Paul here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today we're heading out with Dave from Golden Valley River Lodge. He's an absolute expert when it comes to catching them elusive trout on fly. So today Scotty and myself are going to be walking the rivers with him. He's going to share some great tips and tricks. So sit back now and enjoy. After a fantastic day of drift boating yesterday, we're going to try our luck fishing the banks of the river. We put our waders on and look for a good spot to start. But before we get into it, Dave gives us some useful feedback on our casting technique. Paul, for a first day out, getting a fish, fan that's fantastic. We have days out where people don't get a fish first yeah. day. It's not, yeah. not, it's not that easy when you first start fly fishing, getting that presentation out no, it's there. It's not easy, that's all. Yeah. And you know, he's got another bit of a quantum learn again today so you'll get a little bit better again today. Presentation I found right at the end there especially on that last hour of the day when they're all coming up smashing the I just yeah. I was getting probably a bit too excited. You get excited that's yeah, yeah. and then when, with that excitement the timing goes off and it's all yeah. about timing that action no matter what excitement's going on that's a hard discipline for anybody yeah. to pick up on first guard. I reckon we should go fishing this yeah. I can see fish behind us here starting to rise so yeah. I'm getting eager to get out there and get into yeah. them. Well, I've just got to control you a bit because you're a big long salt water caster and you want to go three quarters of a mile across the river. I'll behave myself today. You just fish a little bit more controlled because <laughs> okay. these fish look at you very critically, not you, but they look at your presentation very quickly. And the longer you cast, the more you're likely to get the presentation collapse. Then they're wary and they're very hard to catch when they're wary. Okay. You should it's be throwing rose petals at them, not rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another bad one. That's a bad one. You're casting really well and you're getting a good distance and a good long drift. And that's literally all you can do until it gets over a fish that's interested in your fly. Yes! Good man! Woohoo!
There you go, a lot of casts and a beautiful little brown trout. Now Dave and that practice catch and release here, so I'm going to get this guy back into the water. When we return, Paul shows us a different way of cooking trout. Well guys, how cool was that? I had an absolute ball fishing the river. The trout was unbelievable. Now don't forget to join us next week on part D of Fishing the Golden Valley River, where Scott and myself are gonna show you a fantastic way to cook trout. I'm gonna be doing it on an open fire, so it's gonna be a really good episode. Now don't forget to join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please subscribe. We'll see you next week, every Friday, here at The Hook and the Cook. Cheers, guys.